this Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'd like to bring up what some people feel is a controversy in the 2023 NEC. And it's in 210.8. And A under 210.8 is dwelling units. And we're talking about GFCI protection. All 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in the following locations and supplied by single phase branch circuits rated 150 volts or less to ground shall have ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel. Okay, bathrooms. There's no argument about that. Everyone understands you got to have GFCI protection in bathrooms. But here's two. This is where the controversy comes in garages, and also accessory buildings that have a floor located at or below grade level, not intended as habitable rooms and limited to storage areas, work areas, and areas of similar use. So, if you have a garage that is built with your floor at or below grade level, you need GFCI protection. Okay, no one's arguing that. But, what if your garage is built with a floor that is above grade? Some people feel that we're saying garages like there's a period right after garages. And also accessory buildings that have a floor located at or below grade level. So the argument against uh, the garages with floors above grade level is that they're really just talking about accessory buildings. But there's an and here. You know, I, this really isn't written very well. I told my friend Don, I know a third grader that could write better than this. You just have to tell him what you mean. And she'd do a great job writing a sentence with a period and then another sentence with another period. <laughs> so you could look at this as garages and also accessory buildings as, as these things are together that have a floor located at or below grade level. And then you got to kind of assume, well, what about garages and also accessory buildings that have a floor above grade level? Does that mean then that the garages and accessory buildings that have a floor above grade level do not need GFCI protection? That's what I get from this. But I don't think that's what they mean to say. I think what they really mean to say is garages, period. I think they mean to say that all garages need GFCI protection. And then accessory buildings that have a floor located at or below grade level, not intended as habitable rooms and limited to storage areas, work areas, and areas of similar use, also need GFCI protection. So if you had a shed that was up on piers, that was uh, well above grade, I think that, that would not need GFCI protection. I think that's why they're saying this about the accessory buildings and the grade level. So I think if you go uh, strictly from a legal aspect, you got to say garages and also accessory buildings and treat them the same way. but. If you just go from an electrical viewpoint, I think you got to say garages and put a period right after it. And I think that's what they mean. Here's a couple comments from a previous attempt of mine to make this video. This is from Andrew. All garages, period. Also, accessory buildings that have a floor located at or below grade. And, and here's Chuck. One could almost think that Whoever drafted this section didn't want to go to the effort of renumbering the list and simply stuck and also accessory buildings on to garages. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. Give me your opinion on this. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks, Thanks for watching!